Can you change your future? If you see what's coming, can you do anything to avoid what's coming your way? Sharp edges is true and explicable stories. Do sharp edges exist between what we perceive and reality? Here is a story of precognition, premonition, and unfortunately, the inevitable. I always wear my seatbelt. I live in New England. I drive in the snow. I feel that the least I can do is put on my seatbelt. I feel like at least it's a little bit safer because I hate driving in the snow. I had this vision in the summertime and it involved um, something we call Linshore Drive, which is a, a street that's right on the water and it gets icy and it gets snowy and I don't really drive that way. So I was like, okay, well, I'm driving in the snow and I get into a bad accident. I fishtail, I, I slide sideways, I do a 360. So I'm saying to myself, I'm going to wear that seatbelt from now on. But I start a new job. And guess where I have to drive by every day? Linshore Drive. And I said, fine, as long as I have on my seatbelt, I'll be fine. So I look out the window one morning and it's snowing. I mean, really, really snowing. But it's a new job. I have to go. So I get in the car. I put on my seatbelt, click. And, um, and I said, as long as I take my time, I'll be fine. So I, dri I stopped driving and I realized, oh, I got to stop and get newspapers. I needed them that morning. So I stop at this little store on the way. It's on the highway. And I, dr I run in to get the newspapers that I need that morning. And... It's a quick little thing. I go and grab the newspapers and I run back into the car and I throw the newspaper on the seat, throw my hat on the seat, throw my gloves on the seat. At this point, the car is nice and warm. I'm going to be fine. Guess what? I pull out of the drive right back on the highway. Didn't put on my seatbelt. But I realized that there's a lot of stuff lights between me and that road that I had seen this vision of the accident on. So I decide at the next light, I will put that seatbelt on because I feel like everything has to click, right? Everything has to work out. I have to have all my, I have to be without the seatbelt to be in an accident and I'm going to take care of that right away. So I'm behind this plow on um, a small highway called 107. And we're going pretty slow, maybe 35, and it's really snowing. And he's throwing, he's not only plowing, but he's also throwing rock salt on the road. And these things are rocks, and they're going on the ground, and they're bun jumping, and they're hitting my windshield. And even if I slow down and, and stay back, they're still um, causing my windshield, to, they're banging off my windshield, I can't see, so I'm going to go around the plow and get to the light and put on my seatbelt. But I noticed there's a little ridge that the plow is making. I said, ah, that'll be fine. So when I go over the ridge, of course, I fishtail. I turn 360 around. I'm sliding sideways, and I hit the guardrail. At this point now, the plow is still going. He doesn't care. I look in my rearview mirror. People have stopped, so no one else. I'm not hitting anybody else. And... I look down, of course I don't have on my seatbelt, and I careen across the two lanes again and hit the curb, and I'm like, oh, that's good, I'm done. Nope, I hit the curb and went back over and hit the guardrail again. I totaled the car. And I was nowhere near Linshore Drive. It was 107, I was in between. If you go off this road, you go into the marsh. So I'm happy that that was the worst of it. So I was right about the accident. I was right about the snow. I was right about that seatbelt. I didn't have it on, but I was wrong about the actual place that it happened. I, could, I thought I could change it. I'm wondering, do you guys think that you could change the future if you see it, if you get ready for it? I thought I was. But... It comes at you fast, that's for sure. Thank you for listening to Sharp Edges, inexplicable but true. If you like listening to true stories that make you question what you see and call reality, 
Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment. And finally, if you have a true story that you would like to share, be sure to send it to sharpedges2021 at gmail.com. Until next time, look out for those sharp edges.